and welcome to lazy cooking with sabrina i'm so excited that you decided to click on this video welcome back to all y'all who keep coming back and definitely welcome all who are new to the channel welcome if you don't know who i am my name is sabrina i'm a busy working mom of four and my life is crazy okay let's just say the <laughs> and you know i have mastered i have mastered the ways of how to cook and how to cook in half the time and cutting corners that is my specialty so in this video and in these videos in this whole channel you're going to catch all those type of videos where most of my meals will be under 30 minutes i'll talk about meal prepping i'll talk about tips and tricks on cooking lunches whatever it is to help you guys out on your cooking journey that is what this channel is about and i hope you go ahead and subscribe and follow me but enough of that long plug let's get into what the video really is about what am i going to be cooking in this video i am going to be cooking um cheesesteak casserole oh my god it's so delicious y'all i hope you guys definitely try this one out i am going to be making an easy baked tortellini oh, you guys super delicious okay everything here is pretty much my faves okay i'm also going to be cooking hamburger gravy which is super delicious y'all everything is just super yummy um i did want to let you guys know the meat that i am using in this video is pre-cooked um, if you have not watched that video on how I pre-cook my meat, I take one day out of the month and I cook all my meat that I have in my freezer, pre-cook it um, up and then I put it back in my freezer and um, as I make my meals, I pull it out and it literally cuts my cooking time in, in half. But enough of that talking, uh, let's get into that video. All right, I'm gonna start with my uh, baked tortellini. Now this is a super easy, I don't know how many times I could say easy, y'all. This is like a five minute prep time. You're gonna get you your favorite jar of your um, spaghetti sauce. I really like the ragu chunky, either the garden style or the bell pepper and mushrooms. That one's like my favorite, but whatever works for you, boo, do you. Then I'm gonna plop that bag of pre-cooked ground beef that I've already had and I mentioned several times before. If you wanna know how I pre-cook my ground beef and all that good stuff, watch that video. Then I'm also going to plop, uh, <laughs> plop, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, was it a bar of cream cheese in there and then I'm going to mix it all up. Once it's nice and mixed, then I'm going to add um, my tortellini. I buy, I got the ones from the frozen section. You can use the fresh ones that you get like in the refrigerator section, that works, but it's just gonna take less time to cook. So yep, I just plop as many as I feel. I use pretty much like the half bag of the family size bag, cause you know, I got kids and they love to eat. And a lot of make, I like to make meals that are gonna last a couple days, so. Like I said, do whatever works for you. After you mix it up, sprinkle a little bit of cheese on there. I like to use the Italian mix uh, cheese. You can get it like at Walmart or whatever. And I put that sucker in the oven for a good 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I also forgot to say to preheat your oven to like 350, 375. And I put a little bit of foil paper on top just so it can cook a little faster. And then voila, it's done. This is definitely a favorite. My kids love when I make it. You can make a little salad, have some breadsticks on the side. I mean, y'all, it's a perfect meal. All right, now I'm going to start with my cheesesteak casserole. This one is a super easy and also a very yummy recipe. I'm going to start off with sauteing my bell peppers and my onions. I season it with Italian seasoning, black pepper, and garlic salt. Like I say, I'm, I say pretty much in every video, but if you're new to the channel, I do not measure my food. I season my food to my taste. So I usually like to start with like a teaspoon and as I go, or maybe half a teaspoon and then go from there. 
You're also going to need to boil some um, elbow macaroni. I always like to put a little bit of olive oil in any pasta that I make and I also like to sprinkle just a dash of salt in my water. All right, you're going to, now it's time to mix everything up. I'm going to put my macaroni, as you can see. Then I'm gonna put my bell peppers and onions and also I'm gonna put some ground beef that I had already cooked and it's just gonna be my regular ground beef. And also, as you can see, I queued up some Velveeta. Um, it actually isn't the Velveeta cheese. I think I used the HEB version of it. So you can use great value, whatever. It don't have to be the bougie. A brand but whatever works like I'm saying you know what I'm saying you can keep it cheap so and I mix it up and um, once I mix everything up with the ground beef I try to mix it up until the cheese is like nice and melted in the inside and um, you know you know how make you just mix it real good since the noodles are really hot it's better to mix it when the noodles are hot do not wait till your noodles are cold because if not the cheese is not gonna melt and it's gonna be big old blocks of Velveeta everywhere and that ain't cute so um, you can add a little bit more milk in there if you wanted to make it a little bit more creamy but I like more of a cheesy type of consistency than an actual creamy consistency so whatever works for you boo then I am going to plop some Italian mixed um, cheese on top on here and you can use any cheese you want, but I, I prefer like the Italian mix because it has like the provolone, the mozzarella, and all those type of yummy cheeses. And it just, I feel like it tastes better. But anywho, and then I'm going to set this sucker in the oven and I'm, I'm going to say maybe 10 minutes at the max. You don't really need to cook it since everything's already cooked. You're just basically trying to get the cheese to melt. All right, and this is the result. This recipe um, here is also good to double batch it. You can make one for now and one in the freezer, and it warms up really, really well. Um, I do it all the time, and it's good for those quick meals. All right, now it's time for the hamburger gravy. Another easy recipe. I am start with my um, already cooked ground beef. I have my skillet cooked on a very like low to medium heat and then basically I'm just kind of like warming up the meat right now all right then I'm about to use about three tablespoons of flour then you're going to mix that in really good So I let that um, mix mix it in real good and let it cook for a little bit maybe like a minute then I add about a cup and a half of milk and of course you're going to mix that in I'm going to add in about one fourth cup of beef broth about a take two tablespoons or so of Worcestershire or her sauce I can never say that stuff right but I also added about three more tablespoons of flour I also add about a tablespoon of some beef bouillon Alright, and then I just mix it all up really well um, and then let it kind of simmer and thicken up. And also you can make some fresh mashed potatoes on the side and serve it with some green beans and it's ready to go. My kids love it. It's a great side dish. I like to cook it and make it a main dish and just put some vegetables with it, but do what works for you, boo. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Share it out there with some future cooks out there. I appreciate all the love and support that you guys give this channel. I appreciate all the shares and all the comments and all the things that y'all do. Um, I definitely hope you guys definitely follow me on my other social medias, especially Instagram because that's one of my favorite places to be. And it is Lazy Cooking W. Sabrina, so definitely follow me there for more recipes and pictures and all that fun stuff. And um, I'll catch you guys in my next video. And as always, guys, God bless. Mwah.